Ready to kill? Every time we go to any national tournament, they'll be like, Sosa, I don't see you have no Mexican kids. He goes, all you see is you know, the black kids and all that. He goes, but how come they fight like Mexicans? He goes, all they do is body shots, body shots. I say, well, I train them. That's how, you know. The way I teach, you, you always got to hit and don't get hit. You know what I'm saying? That, that's boxing. You got to hit and don't get hit. So a lot of speed, movement, a lot of footwork. If you ask every single kid, uh, my kids, what, what does always Sosa tell you? A smart jab, smart feet. You control the distance, everything, you're gonna, you control the fight. So a smart jab, you know, jab up, jab down, you control it. You control the distance with the feet, it'll be easy. Fight. Go. Good, go. Okay, a little harder now. 30. 30, let's go. Back then, when I used to live in, in Sunset Park, the neighborhood was a little bad, so my dad goes, you're not gonna be hanging out. So he took me to a local boxing gym. Um, actually, I didn't wanna be there. It was my brother, my older brother. He, he was the one that was pushing for it, but he, he had less talent. I had the more talent, so I advanced a little faster. Started winning a lot of state titles, national titles. Uh, won the Golden Gloves, 1988. I went to Mexico, they, they, they liked the way I, you know, I fought. I tried out for the team, I made the Olympic team. Uh, the Mexican Olympic team, and I represented Mexico in the Pan American Games. I believe 88 or 88 or 89, which was in uh, Indiana. I saw him working with the gas company, you know, checking the mirrors, and I always talking to him, go to the gym, you never know when you saw someone to fight. So go to the gym, be a coach. Uh, you was a good fighter, so, you know. So I was back back and then one day he said, yeah, I'm going to say. And for now, you know, he, about a year, he, he went back little by little, one today. And now he's a great coach. Double jab. Hug him. To be a coach, to be a, a boxing trainer is a gift. I'll tell you the truth, I don't have it. I'm an administrator. <laughs> but what I have is I have a gift of finding good trainers. Good job. See all my fighters that I have. Um, got them since they're 9, 8 years old. Now they're 19, 20 years old. Top amateurs, top pros. So that's what we're working on. I mean, I feel like he helped me outside the ring more than he helped me inside the ring, to be honest with you. And, uh, and you can highlight that statement. Just with clothing me, feeding me, sheltering me, to it all since a young kid. Christmas, I never had no bad Christmas because Sosa never had a bad birthday. Always had a gift. His family took care of me, always had a meal. Any day I went to eat, I could go over to his house. I seen a different life, you know, because of Sosa. Even going out to restaurants, certain restaurants and stuff. I never seen that as a kid. I never knew what a restaurant was. I never knew tipping somebody was growing up as a kid. When I came to the gym, he showed me, you know, another side of life. I knew the Chinese store at McDonald's and my mother's cooking. So now I could, I know, you know, I know good food, good restaurants from bad restaurants. So, I mean, he helped me, he helped me out a lot growing up as a kid, especially outside the ring. I knew him since I was like 13, and ever since he came into my life, he's like a father figure. I don't know nobody else as like a father but him. All my teammates, we all social cool for life, and they all like my brothers. His wife, that's like, you could say that, that's my mom. She take care of us no matter what. Yeah, so it's like, like more like a family to me, not more less than a teammate, less than team. When I think of social cool for life, I think of uh, all, of, all our hard times we came coming up in the amateurs, me, B-Hop, Julian, Nikita, Rashad, the list goes on and on. It was a group of us, so Sosa just made the name and it stuck with everybody. Me as a coach, what, I'm, what I learned to do is give them a lot of freedom. What I also learned in boxing, there's a lot of people that once they see that you have a good fighter, they, they start talking, they start, they try to you know, take them from you. And, I, and me, as, as they're growing up, I give them a lot of freedom. I tell them, listen, you know how I am and this and that. You can do whatever you want. Go train here, train there, but this is your home. You know what I mean, this is where you're gonna come back, this week, where everything is. And believe it or not, they go away to California, they go help out this person, that person, they always come back. Good, the other way. 